user joined your channel. Uh, okay, who was that? Hello, Dunk. Hi, it's Dunk. No, we we're like only just now starting. In fact, I oh. haven't even started yet. Um, we're gonna be using Discord for me to stream uh, what I'm doing, so you guys can see. So. Just uh, get in Discord and tell me how the quality is, and if it needs to be adjusted, yeah, yeah. I'll adjust it. it it's a little, I, it's a yeah, little blurry. It's a yeah, little it's blurry. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, just a little. Well, no, it's actually kind of. Okay. I don't. D Discord sharing is, or streaming is really bad. Uh, let me. Yeah. If anything, you might just have to like explain it through us, hopefully, instead yeah. of just. Because I get the point. It's like, uh, yeah, it does help streaming it. It's just oh, that. God. Uh, if it's still pretty blurry. Oh. Oh, there. Uh, oh. oh. Is that better uh, at all? It, it was for like half a second, and then it went back to, like, you can't even read the what's on the right side, like for Zeus to add stuff. You can't read it. Wow. Yeah. Very cool, Discord. Is there a way for me to up my, my like? Oh, that got a little better. That's because yeah. I'm holding still. Maybe if I drop the frames down to, like, 15. Nope. No. No, no it's a little better. Little. Yeah. 15 I mean, frames the baby it's like okay that's awful jesus so are, are we gonna actually have when it comes to like the scripting are we gonna actually have to take notes on this shit or no it's really simple i'm gonna be okay. recording everything anyways that i'm doing um all right so it's microwave blah nunk texan spark okay um all right Welcome to Zeus Templates 101. Um, before we start, you're going to want to download Notepad++. For uh, It's an add-on for your uh, Windows Explorer that makes editing uh, text files and SQFs and EXTs a lot easier. Um, so you don't have to use Notepad. Um, it, it's kind of required. It's really simple. You don't have to restart your computer or anything to install it. It's just a real easy install. Uh, let me... Note. Good. Hopefully, you already be on your computer. Yeah, but I'll just throw download in here. Like your quality goes good for like. It's because I hold wait. still. Okay. Discord streaming's still really bad, and I should be streaming on like Twitch or YouTube or something. But setting that up is a pain in the ass. Uh, it's not. I'm. It's not hard at all if you're using OBS. I have OBS. What I, what do I need to do then? Uh, oh, well, the thing. Setting. Also, the thing is, is setting up stream delay. I have no idea how to how to make it so it's like actually not delayed. Uh, it's only like ten seconds, I think, by default or something like that. And I don't actually know how to set the delay, but if you go to settings, going to it right now. Yeah, I go to stream. You select your service. Okay. Uh, server auto. It'll ask for your uh, for your token, and you get that through your through yeah. your Twitch page. Okay. Well. Maybe next time, but I, I want to get into the nitty gritty of it as soon as I can. So okay. just let me know when you all are watching and I'll start going into things. Watching. Watching. Hey. Okay, everybody's here. All right. So everybody has a different way of starting their uh, Zeus templates. Um, Depending on what what you're doing, buddy, join uh, your people channel. Will start. Hello, Schwank. Oh yeah, you're here to watch too. We only literally just started. Good. Okay, I was yeah. about to say if you guys are too far along, no, 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 don't no, no. Let me, we like, literally just started. So just hop in Discord and watch the stream. I'm gonna be explaining things as I go along. The quality's a little shit, um, and since it's it's basically, uh, it's gonna be blurry either way. Oh God. Oh. Did I just... Yeah, you, you just left the stream, so... Oh, my Discord just crashed. Very cool! <laughs> it's a good program. Cool, yeah. It's a, it's a very it's a very good Should program. Should I boot up Arma as well? If you want. It's entirely up to you. Um, Discord? Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, also, Texan, are you... Or not Texan, Darius. Have you taken down people's names who are here? Yes, I've already taken down people's names okay, that are here. Okay, because I know... I know there were people higher up than me that wanted to know, so I'll, I'll even put your name down too. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> you'll get a you'll get a gold star. Um, oh, gold star to go quality. with my, a gold star to go with my piss name. Yeah, your your piss star. It'll just say simp on it. Please don't do this to me. 
Like, I, 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 I only, I only vaguely know what that means in the first place. So, you know, you know how the meme is, uh, um, man as an orbiter. That's just what a synth is. Yeah. It's an orbiter. Okay, that. Thank you for explaining it in a way that I could understand. Yeah, it's just another word for an orbiter. Um, and I assume this is all going to be new mod pack too. Right? Yes, this is absolutely. Oh, geez, who else? Hello, Slav. I know you don't need to learn, so I'm not going to take your name. Boat. <laughs> um, Slav, for everything that he is, is a relatively good mission maker. Um, however hostile he may be. Sadly. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. So now that everybody's here and tuned in, Schwenk, you're here. Nunk's here. Everybody's here. All right. So, depending on a lot of people, make um start their templates a lot uh differently, depending on what they're doing, depending on what you have have set up. But what we're gonna be doing is a completely vanilla setup with uh with an emphasis on either being an arsenal or a straight vanilla op. Um, setting up an arsenal is really easy to do with standard Zeus. Um, so it's not a huge deal. Um, Are you doing ace arsenal or? Either uh, one. Regular. Either one. Okay. Yeah, Zeus generally just gives you an arsenal anyways. Um, yeah. One thing you will see me doing a lot of is going to previous missions and basically copying and pasting things from previous missions to save on time. Um, but this is not going to have to do, there's not going to have, uh, yeah, this is not going to have any triggers. It's going to be entirely Zeus ended. It's just a straight Zeus template with vanilla units and using the super template. Nothing simple, nothing really hard. Yeah. Still, you, you're every, it, everybody's Robin hood basically. Um, so for a simple Zeus template using any of the vanilla factions. Um, nobody ever does. It's it's usually just straight NATO is what we do. So just like putting down. Let's see here, a, a rifle squad. That that's your squad. That's that's. There it is. <laughs> There it is. That, that's all you. That's all you really need to do. Um, beside, after putting them down, you need to go through and set them as playable. And uh, after you do that, set the role descriptions. I usually go through, and make sure they're all playable first, and then I go through and set the role descriptions, just because I have autism. Um, not to say that you do. Uh, I mean, consider I, your audience. Player playable, okay. That's right. Yeah, you just, you, you just, yeah, I know. Uh, you, you can't see it, but what I'm clicking is making the player playable. That means that you can, so I'll, I'll go ahead and show you exactly what it does. Quality got really good, but the frames yeah. are really bad. But all, fine. all it does is it just makes them playable. It doesn't matter. Um. So how, how do you get to this? I. You okay. like you just half went a to the, uh... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Role descriptions aren't that aren't that really. Yeah, you can do those at the end usually, um, but you should always go play in multiplayer because uh, lay locality memes. Um, sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't. Um, a good example is uh, Delta Distraction, my first iteration of it, where they popped on when testing, but when actually put on the server, they wouldn't pop because of locality issues, and I didn't put task IDs on them. So if you plan on implementing tasks, which is an, another relatively easy-ish thing to do with modules, yeah, remember to give your task modules I, uh, task IDs. Always do that. It it it'll it'll fuck up everything if you don't, um, or if you don't, you'll have another Bagango situation on your hands. Um, how many people in this chat will actually get that reference? Uh, not a lot. So. If, if we're doing straight vanilla, it doesn't matter to really give your squad's role descriptions. Another annoying thing is trying to click on something and then the spawn unit thing coming up whenever you double click. You'll get used to that. Come here. There. So role description tells you what uh, tells you what units 
like role is. So this is the squad leader. So God, uh, you would do like squad leader at alpha, and you would. That's the only person in the squad you need to name at alpha. Out at alpha gives you tells the game that oh this is alpha squad and whenever you go to play in multiplayer it'll just squad leader alpha why are they all filled with ai now um because i don't have the uh super template and that disables ai from joining you can set okay if, if i go back there's a button at the bottom that says disable ai and enable ai it's just something that happens in the editor it's good for testing if you want to um test of trigger pops when using a certain number of players. Um, Alright, so the next thing is... Uh, how do you get, um, I was going to say, what? how do you get custom names for the multiplayer uh, That's stuff. That's role description. That's role okay, description. So it, so it so would be so squad like, leader at alpha, right? That's, that's yeah. squad leader at alpha right there. So this would be... Light AT. And you don't need to name him at alpha. It only needs the actual squad leader to be named at alpha. What is Slav saying? Yeah. You yeah. Have to what no, Slav said. Error in the super XP template or something about you. Um, getting errors is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, so from here... It doesn't really matter. I'm going to delete these guys, and I'm going to show you how to implement the template. So, the latest template is just XP template 05 or 0.5.1. There's going to be an update sometime this week. Uh, That's just a drop-in. So, you would go to missions. I know it's going to be really, really uh, blurry, but I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to walk you guys through everything. And what you need to do first is you need to go to scenario, save as, and always unbinarize the scenario file it's it's possible to unbinarize it if you binarize it but it's still a pain in the ass for the auditor or or uh, whoever's testing it open how can you check and see if the one you saved is unbinarized um there's a check mark at the bottom that says binarize scenario file always uncheck that whenever you're saving something so I I mean, if it's one's already saved, like if you, if I go to open instead of just save as, there's yeah. no check for it. There, there's no check. You'll you'll notice. You'll you'll know though. Yeah. Okay. If, if you see garbage, sure, like, yeah. if you, if you don't see what you're trying to see, you'll you'll know that it's binarized. Um, I okay. can't remember the naming scheme that Super uses because it's really stupid. Um. Uh, Wait, so what do you mean? For... I I just I can never remember it. Uh, so I literally no, have to look back. And... I mean, it's co-op, number of players, yeah. plus sign, number of Zeus's. Yeah, I I, then... I, I, I know, Schwank, you don't have to tell me. Well, but you, you <laughs> just said you didn't remember. Because I didn't, I wasn't going to worry about it right now. So, as I was saying, you just need to save this, just go to save as, and here's your, where is it, Zeus template Malden, Malden 2035 at the bottom. That's going to immediately show up in your folder and uh my folder's a little messy i gotta find it okay it's at the top so you come in here all that's going to be in there at first is your mission sqm you go back to the super template take everything in there copy it go back to your missions go back to the zeus template paste copy everything in there so and uh you just do that one more time sure i did correct okay so back all right, control Z it. So you're gonna go to the, you're gonna go to your Zeus template Malden, right? Or yeah. whatever map you're on. Um, all that's gonna be in there right now is mission.sqm. You're gonna go to your, your, your name and Arma 3 other profiles. You're gonna go to, I save mine in my profile just for ease of use. Um, yeah. So you're going to take the super, everything in the Super XP template, you're going to copy it, not cut it. You're going to go back to missions, you're going to go to the template, that's VDV day. Uh, you're going to go to Zeus template, you're just going to copy everything in there. Um, so, first thing we're going to do with this, 
we're going to go into Notepad++. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. So you're going to set the author name. If I could spell my name right. I'm going to go with the briefing name. Zeus template Malvin. Overview text, that doesn't really matter. Uh, overview picture will, uh, doesn't, still doesn't work apparently on mission load. Zeus template Malden. That's what's going to be on the lo on the load uh, screen, and uh, on load mission is the description visible. Um, you don't really have to worry about that. So that's the text like below the picture, yeah, right? That, yeah, that's the text below the picture. I don't know how the quality is for this, but I hope you guys can at least see what I'm looking at. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks good. Roughly, okay. yeah. Okay, so all right. Now we're going to decide how many people we're going to put in there. You should always overestimate how many people are going to show up at Ops. Um, so we're going to take... These are four, five, six, seven, eight-man squads. That's... All right, we're going to take that. We're going to move that to... Where is that? That's a team leader. That's an ammo bearer. It's a rifleman. We're going to get rid of the marksman. It's a combat lifesaver. Rifleman, squad leader, light AT, grenade, team leader, ammo bearer. Uh, get rid of the ammo bearer. Because riflemen can double as ammo bearers. Yes. Uh, always do that. Always do that. Always do that. Um, what Slav said. So we're gonna make sure these guys player or playable, 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 playable. Oh, um, Darius. What's good? Uh, if you don't mind me saying, uh, yeah. you could just like select all of them. And then I know, like, but like, again, you know. my brain has autism. Fair enough. And I'm just going through and showing you individually how do you, how do you do it every time. Um. So from there, that's three, six. That's six. So, if my you select math, all what buttons you click to open it up to do it all at you once. Just double, okay, so you would just double click, or you would drag over them. Yeah. And then you would just double click on one of them. Uh huh. And you would just select playable, okay. and it'll set them all to playable. It should, okay. in theory. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you have to do it like twice. So, from here. All right, six. All right. Yeah. So, all right. We're going to put six squads down because that's 48 players. That's usually enough. Um, all right. So, right there. Three, or four, five, six. Okay, there's 48. So... We're gonna overcompensate and add a fit at a uh, seventh squad just for good measure, and there's all your squads. Um, at this point, just for straight vanilla ops, um, you don't have to set loadouts because these are gonna be based off. They're based off the class names um, on respawn. So the the uh, when it respawns, it's the squad leader will be called as B underscore soldier underscore SL underscore F. And that's what generalizes what loadout goes to who. So let's, all right. So from there, you got your, you got, that's how many people are in your 48. So that's a co-op 54 plus, which however many uh, Zeus's you put in, which is usually just one. I'll go ahead and save this. I'm going to go ahead and rip the classic the classic mission maker trip of trick of ripping everything from other missions that you have and putting them in your own. It's it's like piracy but cooler. Um What's the uh the template workaround? All I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Template. Loadout. 
Oh, okay. How much for the good frames that Ruha had? Call the and it's in it. Okay. Triggers system. So I'm going to copy this, take all this, and then I'm going to show you all what it is whenever I paste it back in. Uh, oh well. Er, yeah, I'll, I'll grab it in just a second. After I'm done doing this, I'll update it and check it. Oh, really? Very cool. Awesome. So, all right, belay that then. I'm still going to put that down though, just for. All right, let's find the fucking template. Where does he have the template? Yeah, there it is. Man, for somebody who's all about fuck the mission wiki and all that, you sure do have super stuff on the dial. Slavs just sunder, eh? Yeah. That's copied. <laughs> Paste. So we're going to do this. Go to missions, compositions, use template modeling, and we're going to replace everything in there. Replace all the files. So now I'm going to go back to the mission description that ext, and I'm going to resave it. I don't want to undo. That would have been very bad. Okay. That's all we've edited so far. Um, alright, so... Alright. So apparently with the new Zeus... Do I still need to put the Game Master module down? Okay. It's not the play. Before I do that, I'm going to show you, okay, so the headless client, that you always need to have that. Uh, so the way that you put down a headless client is you go to virtual ent entities, right? Put it down right there. After you put it down, you go into here, you set it as playable, role description, HC, variable name, HC. That's all you need to do. And then the, every time you launch something on the server, the headless client will uh, join. Um... How do I call the uh, the Super XP Zeus thing, and where is that in the is it in scripts? No. Template? No. Tools? No. Media? No. Functions? No. Config? So I'll so, put it in the chat. Yeah, okay, cool, in the end of your Zeus, okay. All right, so using that, we're gonna go to a civvy. Um, we're gonna put him in this little bungalow over here in his little jack shack. Just that's close to where the spawn is. So uh, uh, let's give him that. I always use Nico's because Nico's a fucking asshole. All right, so we're gonna go to uniform. Going to, oh shit, I'm gonna have to give him a fucking, I wish we had invisible vests. So I'll give him a fucking fanny pack, hold on. Where is it? Whatever, it's all pack. So let's give him, or maybe a carry all. One backpack or one radio of each. Apply. Go to the init. This will fucking copy. There we go. Set variable XPT Zeus unit. Zeus module underscore one. 
Oh, you have to give it through XPT loadouts? That's very missing. What the hell? It's missing a semicolon in that Slav. Set variable XPT. Why don't you just set the variable name as? This has turned into both a learning experience for me and you, so you don't have to. Is it going to throw that error every time? I'm going to give you a picture of what I'm saying. Oh god, why am I copying the image? There, that's what I'm seeing. Oh jeez. Yeah, that'll probably be the best thing to do. Just shoot it over to me. While we're waiting on that, okay. So these are all set up uh, for, they're playable, they're not players. Um, so we're going to go to play in multiplayer. You see that the um, HC is there, that's good. So. Here's all your squads. So, another thing we're going to do real quick that I just realized we should do is rename all the squads from Alpha 1 1 to like Alpha 1 2 and all that. So, we're going to go here Alpha Bravo Baker Baker How Idea yeah, Charlie Dog Trot. It's gamma, right? I can't remember the NATO phonetic alphabet. F G H. Um, H is hotel. Hotel, right? I always forget that. Forget that one. Okay. So there's your there's your seven squads. That's... G is not gamma. It's golf. Golf? I could have sworn it was Gamma. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Alright. So, the next thing we're going to do while I'm waiting to get... Okay, there's the mission. Oh god, it's on Fallujah. Ugh. Also, another thing you should pick up probably is PBO Manager. Um, it's, it's very useful. About 42 twos. Urban and fucking. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna delete that. Uh, what was it? Oh, I'm gonna show you how to set up a respawn. Okay. So to set up a respawn. If I could spell respawn right. Respawn position. You forgot echo. <laughs> I'm taking your name off the list. That's fine. Okay. So, the respawn position is kind of weird to set up. Um, if I remember right, for the naming system. So, literally all you need to do is go to markers, put down a dot. That dot is named respawn. Respawn West. It's Respawn West, right, Slav? It's Respawn West. Okay. So Respawn West. Buddy joined your channel. Hello, Super. Hello. Uh, we're just... Before I go steal some of Slav's stuff. Alright, I'm going to show you how the Respawn works. <laughs> yeah, Janny. Janny on deck. 
I, I'm just now getting to how the respawn works. Enjoy, look at my fancy new squad that is not very funny, but I find hilarious. Okay. Did I turn the AI off? Yeah, I did. Alright. So, alright, this should work. Alright. Oh, I probably should have made the respawn timer a little bit slower. But, live and learn. Or a little bit shorter. It'll be okay. Um, this is This is just the general respawn camera. I'm sure you're all very familiar with it. Um, some if more you're than running others. this on your own server, can't you force respawn yourself? I think so. I can't remember how, though. <laughs> Courage. Let's take a look. See. You know, force respawn. Yeah, look, you just spawn right on this little uh, dot. So, yeah, that's that's all you have to do. You just put a, you put a respawn module down. You put a, a dot down, and you put respawn Wes on it also um, one thing you should do after doing so <sighs> is take the dot take its alpha all the way down to zero so that way nobody can see it it doesn't really matter but it's the little things there's a there's one little alternate way that you can accomplish the same task how's that uh, if you go to the uh, like marker type, mm -hmm. there's there should be one under like the system category. I think that's called empty. That way you can still see it on the, oh, in the editor, see. but it won't show up in game. That's cool. I I usually remember about where things are, anyways. So it's entirely personal preference. Yeah, it's it's all up to you. Everybody's gonna develop their own habits for mission making. It's it's inevitable. As much as Super would like us all to be robots when it comes to mission making. Um. That's entirely in jest, by the way. Being facetious. I yeah, Taskman one. Um, Taskmans are a great thing, and you should always use them. Because Please it's, no. It's it's funnier that way. Um, Taskman is the ultimate meme solution <laughs> to mission making. Yeah. Like okay, okay. If you did like a variable to do the actual logic, but then still had a Taskman anyways, <laughs> I'd find that hilarious. I've thought but... about. I've thought about that. I th I thought that would be pretty funny, but I feel if. I feel if Ghost got a hold of my mission again, he'd be angry at me for using Taskman. Has anyone made a mission where the final objective is to kill the Taskman yet? I think Slav's working on one. Alright, speaking of that, okay. I need to steal the... Uh, what is Taskman? Oh god! Okay, um, Super, do you want to explain it or do you want me to explain it? I can explain it very briefly. Yeah. Um, so, when you are... We'll, we'll use the example if you want like uh, an objective to trigger. So, let's say this objective is to, like, search a laptop. Uh, the You put a hold action on the laptop. Yes. Yeah, so or a scroll unquote, wheel action. The correct way of doing this is to just have this little hold action or add action that you added. Um, just finish the task directly. Like, there's a little bit of code you can put in there that'll make that kind of happen. Uh, the meme about Taskman is that instead of doing it directly... Uh, you just make your whole, you just put a unit off in the corner of the map called Taskman One or Taskman Two or Taskman Three, and uh, what happens is when you search the laptop, it just kills Taskman One, and then there's a trigger that checks for Taskman One to be dead that triggers the objective. It's a really round roundabout way oh, that that's like hilarious. it's really <laughs> funny. You avoid you avoid coding anything by making the only code. <laughs> like, there's, there's you code. make it one in a live kills, check. One one code kills Taskman, and then the second code what? for the for That's... the actual for the actual thing firing. What is fuck super dot jpeg? Huh? Yeah. That's cool. Very cool, Slav. Uh, let's get rid of Nikos over here then. All right. I'll just put put these clowns over here in this little bunker. There we go. Alright. So, going through that, and from what I'm seeing from this, alright. So, you have two Game Master modules, right? Both with the variable, variable name Zeus1. 
and the name Zeus one. Also, you always need to set all add-ons, including uh, unofficial ones, or else you won't be able to use anything from a mod. Um, and forced interface. These settings always need to be set. Owner no, doesn't yeah, really matter now. I'll, I'll let it like stable out for a second. Let me know when it's actually stable. I, I, I probably should have like set up Twitch beforehand, but I just got off work beforehand, so I apologize. Um, is anybody actually learning anything from this? Yep. Trying. The new okay. Zeus stuff I'm learning. Okay. Uh, learning. Some I, stuff, I, I, the other I, stuff has okay. me like a retard. So. Well, a as, lot of this af I after I finish myself. all this, yeah, after after um I finish this and you guys go to, I'll assign you guys a map to make a template on, and as you guys go through it, I'll help you figure out what you need. Oh, no. oh, so we have a we have a test. Basically, yes. Um, but as Does the test be the mission that you're actually working on, uh, I, oh. I'll, I mean, you're just going to submit the template to be audited. That's all. Yeah. And if it passes, so, you so pass. Be... So Darius, after everything you tell them to do, you just have to say, and this will be on the exam. <laughs> huh. So, so is this Zeus one and Zeus two thing yeah, already there? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So, all right. So what you need to do for that. So the Game Master modules are in Logic Entities, right? They're in uh, Virtual Entities, or they're in... Where are they? No, they're in... Okay, they're in Gameplay Modes, I think. No, it's in the Zeus. Um, there's two Game Master pieces. You want to use the one that has the TMTM branding on it. Um, so it's literally just a little eye here, and you put it down. So deleting that and using these as reference... Again, you set the variable name, you set the name, and you set the add-ons and the forced interface. Um, I'll give it a second so you guys can see it, because I know it's uh, taking a moment to level out. So let me know when it's actually visible and legible. Somewhat. And what Man. are we doing? Name what? What? Here, I'll just take a picture no, of it. No, there we go. Yeah. I'll, I'm gonna show them how to give own. Yeah, you don't have ownership owners in yours, Slav. Oof. You did it. All right, cool. So, all right. You do need to set an owner then, so it'd be Zeus too. So. You would just set, take the name and put it in the owner slot too, and you would do the same for Zeus one. Very small correction here. Okay, go ahead. Um, if so, the the owner needs to be it, when you're doing it for a unit. It needs to be the clap like the the variable name of the unit itself. So it would have to be the variable name of one of those two civilian guys that you've got there. Okay, they don't have variable names, so I'll set one as Zeus one, and one is God damn it. Uh... I would usually do like Zeus one underscore unit, or something like that, because it's the unit for Zeus one, right? Yeah, that make that that makes sense actually. Underscore, suck my unit. <laughs> Zeus one. For the longest time, I I spelled Zeus uh, Z U E S. That's because there's a meme that uh I I know Scarecrow does it. He intentionally misspelled <laughs> Zeus. Yeah. Hold on. Um. I uh, just want to point something out. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. I. I. I realized my. Um... Unit. You just it. did it right there. What? Oh God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. There. So you always need both Zeus one and Zeus two. Or only when you have two Zeus's? Um, only when you have two unit two Zeus's. I'm just doing this just for duplicity's sake. And if there, okay. I guess for templates, I guess it's okay to have two Zeus's because sometimes you want to do multiple things or you want to uh, screw TMTM as hard as you can, like you let Roarcorn and Samilo Zeus. Um, those of you that are new probably haven't had a Samilo Zeus mission. Uh, they're they're something. Okay. It's bad. Yeah. I feel like 
Team Team would need like professional counseling after a, a Smilo and Roricorn Zeus mission. I really want it to happen. I just want to see. <laughs> we should we should convince Smilo to do that. I'll I'll talk to him after. Good luck. Him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll call in a favor. <laughs> yeah. Slo oh my god, that sounds awful. Oh my Revival. god, yeah, that, that's too Can much. Can we not? <laughs> I like it. I'm a fan. Um, Alright, so... Uh, what is PID also? Uh, PID I, I is always prevent... this positive ID. No, no, well, it stands for um, There's two positive ID and for. prevent instant death. Oh. Okay, so I'll, I'll do a little thing right here to show you because I think it's default set uh, with them both on, and I'm going to use a civilian because... Everybody likes shooting civilians in TMTM. So, shit, he's a he's a playable he's not character. Playable. Yeah, he's haha ha, XD. Another classic Darius blunder. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he's playable still. Well, no, I don't want him to be playable. So this is just a quick, dirty example of what PID revive off, because I'm pretty sure it's set default. Oh, did the new medical system push already? Super? Yes. Oh, are we on it? Uh, if, if you're running new mod pack right now, then yes. Oh, very cool. Well, let's, let's do a little experiment then. Uh -huh. Cheems. All right. Oh, he just straight up dies. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> alright then. Cool. Alright. So, in theory, although this is going to be changed when we have the new medical settings, PID is supposed to make it so, like, the first anything that hits you Won't kill cannot you. kill you. So, like... You could take a 105 tank shell to the dome and, and survive. Kill you. Your brain cells but, would be unaffected. But say you took a 105 tank shell to the to the dome and then someone shot you with a nine mil in the knee, the nine mil would probably kill you. <laughs> it just stops the first thing from killing you, which is why like and that's a bad P thing. PID PID off or PID on, like explosions can still seemingly kill you in one. Shrapnel is the scariest thing with PID off. It is on grenades are some of the scariest shit that you will, you will ever go against in PID off ops. Um, just because the fact you can't see shrapnel, but you can see tracers. Um, all right, so we got we got the units down. We have the Zeus's down. We have the respawn down. That's basically everything. Um, time, the next bit is basically testing to make sure everything works. So let's try both Zeus's and make sure they work. Of course, we can't test the Acre uh, if the Acre is working unless it's actually on the server or you run a server yourself on your machine, but I'm too stupid to do something like that, so... Uh, you can... At least you can make sure that you have the right radios by just hitting yeah. the radio key bind. Or just checking your inventory. Yeah. Ah, yes. Bin config CFG vehicle is my favorite. So these work, yeah. Um, oh, I, uh, well, I cannot exit the Zeus template, so... Uh, what's the, the keybind? Uh, check different Could radios. Could be control? Control. Or, sorry, caps lock. Uh, if my friend will go away here. Oh, PRC 77s. That's, uh, that's good enough. We'll edit that real quick to make the, make sure it has everything. Zeus with nothing but 3 4 three. So back in the day, BI uh, Arsenal used to be the mainstay, but now it's uh, should it be the seventy-seven or the one-one-seven super? Uh, what do the regular squad guys have? They're just gonna get three-four-threes. 
uh, then Zeus would need a 343 as well. So the, the 117, the 148, and the 152 all share frequencies and encryption and everything like that. Mm -hmm. The 77 is... It's possible to make it intercompatible, but it's mostly its own thing, and the 343 is definitely its own thing. Okay. So just give them 343s. Take that away. 343. 242 on me. Do um, squad leaders have like a 148? I'm, I'm, or a... That's what I'm about to go through. Um, okay, I would I would give Zeus as a one one seven as well then. One one seven as well then. Yeah. I mean, if these are going to be arsenal ops, does it really matter what radios the squad leaders well, have in this? I should loadout? I should just give the Zeus's every radio since this is an arsenal op. God. Well, oh shit, I you don't need the one forty eight and the one fifty two because you already have a one one seven. And they do the same frequencies. One four eight, one four two, one four seven. Cool. 177, or 117, 3, 77. Okay. Yeah, 77 is the Vietnam radio. 17, 3, 4, 3. Oh, God, two of them, huh? Would it actually be a bitch to just give Zeus a bunch of radios? Because I mean, it I mean, changes the push to talk for them as well. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Smile. Okay. Fair enough. So. From here, um, does the template give people uh, radios by standard now? If there's uh, none defined. Acre, if you have a default Arma 3 radio, Acre will replace it with a, with a uh, 343. I wonder. Um, you clowns. can turn on... The template has a feature called Auto Radio, which ensures that everyone gets a 343 and that squad leaders get a 152. Okay. Where's that at in the uh, template? Uh, there should be a line that says auto radio that you can uncomment in description of the XD. Okay. <clears throat> File we've got open in the background there. Right. Radio defines auto radio. Set it to not slash. Set it to one. Yeah, okay. and then you have to go remove the two backslashes at the front of the line. Yep. Okay, cool. Alright, so... That's perfect for a Zeus template. So, um, ooh, auto babble, very cool. All right, that's taken care of. So you don't really have to worry about putting down an arsenal because these are most likely just going to be arsenal ops, anyways. Um, so, really, from there, I I will and briefly um, show you how to uh, add loadouts. So. This is something that is the probably the most annoying thing about mission making, in my honest opinion, as a humble mission maker, TM. Um, it, it, yeah, XD. Um, water tastes well, funny. Uh, I'm gonna go, but okay. uh, Darius, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. To the uh, TM TM. I had a word that I was going to use for this, and then I forgot it. But uh, kindergartners, yeah, middle schoolers, high schoolers, college students, boomers. I got a quick question for you. What's Super. your question? Oh, yep. is there an easy way to make it to where you can sling load any vehicle in the game, or make the sling load weights unlimited? Uh, you can't make the sling load. So, yeah, short answer is no. Um. Part of it is because some objects don't have sling load points to find. Uh, right. Second thing is that the sling load weights can't be edited because they are... Like, you can't edit the weight of how much a helicopter can carry because the, that's baked into the flight model for the helicopter. Right. Um, the, the way to adjust it, if you want to make a helicopter be able to carry something that a bigger one can is you have to set the mass of that object to be a lower mass so that that helicopter can lift it. Because even if you could let, you know, even if you had it set up so that a helicopter could lift the tank, like a little bird could attach to a tank, there's yeah. no way a little bird would have enough lift to get the tank off the ground. Okay. Okay. Um, what I did just here real quick is, um, 
I changed the respawn delay. I'm going to put a picture in here because I know it's going to take a minute to... The standard delay is 120, so two minutes. Um, respawn delay is the how long it takes for you to actually respawn into the game. Um, vehicle respawn delay doesn't really matter in Zeus templates. That only matters if you have a respawn or vehicle module. Um, you can also disable the respawn button, but I don't really see a point in that unless you just want to stop people from respawning in TVTs and stuff like that. Um, three is the base respawn. I don't know what that does, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, you should probably just leave that as default. Yeah, most, that as... most respawn types, you'll just want to leave it as base because the other ones are like uh, <laughs> disable respawn. instant, which just respawns you on your body. Yeah. Um, group, I think, which... There are some that like switch you to AI units that are in your group or on your side or stuff like that. Just leave uh, it as three. As real mode from the popular Call of Chernobyl Stalker modification. So, all right, back on topic. Respawn delay is set to sixty now, so you only sit in the the respawn screen for a minute. All right, what I'm about to put next in the um in here. This is what you use to set up loadouts. This is the only piece of code that you really need. Oh, fuck this part. Yeah, it is a pain in the dick, and I hate it. Yeah. So, when you press start, yeah, remember this code. You need take that, put it in a notepad, and save it on your, yeah, auto, yeah. Put it on your clipboard. Yeah, it auto, yeah. It auto copies to your clipboard. <clears throat> So, hey, where do we look? Oh, wait. And what oh, I just put player this. call XPT function export inventory. Save that. That is going to be very, very important. So, when you press start after you load a unit in, this is the most tedious process because you have to go down to every unique unit that you have. Um, you, if you have one squad, okay. If you have all squads that are matching, you only have to do it for one squad. If you have multiple squads that have uh, special equipment for each one, you have to do it for every squad. This is probably honestly one of the longer pieces if you have bigger ops. Yeah. Um, so all you do is it doesn't really matter what execution you use. You just hit execute and you go to your notepad. You hit control V and it copies all of it. I'll put a picture of it in here. Don't you don't have to copy whatever it is that it, you just copy it straight onto the uh, notepad, and that's your that's the loadout for that unit. So if I remember where is it that um you put the loadouts? Uh, uh, config XPT loadouts at HPP. Config HPP XPT. Loadout. All right. All right. From here, let me open the Yodeling Yugo ones so, so I can remember the. So just for this, I'm going to be copying this just because I'm a lazy son of a bitch. So. And that's, this right here would be the loadout for that. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, this is, this is what it would look like using a different, yeah. I, I will be. Um, if you need just an example of a file, like a full file from a mission, uh, this is the loadouts file from Daybreak. Yeah, that's that's an excellent, that's an excellent, excellent, excellent example. Uh, but from here, display name.
user was kicked from your channel. Wow. Darius, there's a really quick way of doing that exact thing that you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I know, by but, I, everything over. but I have autism super. Okay. Um, you can just tell me after, but that's what it got changed to. This, this, um, defines what that loadout will be for that class name every time you respawn. And it will happen no matter what. You can set the items in there by yourself through the, um, what you can do, you can go to the ace arsenal, you can hover over an item in your inventory while you're in the ace arsenal, in the um, addition, and yeah, you have to enable the loadout system. I'm not enabling it in this because you're just going to be respawning with vanilla loadouts anyways, and it's a Zeus template, so most likely uh, an arsenal op XD. Um, so, from there, that's really all you have to do for setting up the loadouts. It's long, it's tedious, and it's a pain in the ass, but it's 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 kind of required if you have specific loadouts. Like Yodel and Yugos, for example, um, with the pre-19 or the post-World War II loadouts, those were kind of, those were a pain in the ass to set up, if I'm perfectly honest, because I was stubborn and used, like, different class names for a lot of things that I shouldn't have. But learning learning from your mistakes is a big thing in mission making. You're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna you're gonna have ops fail auditing. It's just the nature of the game. Not everyone like can be like super and just make perfect ops every time because he's the mission master. Um XD. Uh from there, that's really about it. I I delve I I kinda showed you everything that I can think of on making a, a template for a Zeus template. Uh, it seems like everything works, so I'm gonna save this and submit it for auditing. I have a Zeus, I have units, I have a headless client, and I have... Uh, Make sure to name it properly. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I'm joking. Uh, briefing name. It's... 54 plus 2. 2 Zeus. What's the um, naming scheme again? I forgot. It's underscores, right? So the the briefing name, you you should you like you can just use spaces for that. Uh huh. Um. So your mission's called Zeus Template Malden, right? Yep. That's, that's okay. all it's called. So your briefing name should be this. And it's 54 plus how many? Plus two okay. Zeus's. Okay. Yeah. So you always want to prefix it with the game type, basically. So it's a Zeus mission, so you just put Zeus at the very beginning. Then you put your player count, a dash, and then the name of your mission. Should that go in briefing name? Or... Yep. Okay. The file name itself would be this. That's what your end file name would end up being. So replace all the spaces with underscores, you remove the dash, and you replace the period with an underscore. Cool. You also merge the two numbers in the uh, briefing name. So from from your checklist, I have a I have a headless client down. I have Zeus's. I have units. I have a respawn. That sounds okay to you, Super. Yeah. Okay. I mean, for a basic Zeus template, that's really all you need. It's vanilla. Um, um, yeah. Let me double check the loadouts real quick for medical. Wait. Well, I, again, I have a question about it go. about the file name. Go. Um, is the uh, Zeus prefix only for? Uh, is that like if you're just making a Zeus template? That goes yes. in the that goes in the briefing name, yeah. Yeah. So okay. the prefixes. So if you're making a Zeus template, you'd prefix it with Zeus, and that's just so all the you know Zeus template missions fall together. If it's a co-op mission, regardless of whether there's a Zeus or not. So if you have like you know pre-placed objectives and pre-placed units and whatever, you prefix it with co-op. Uh, if it's a TVT, you prefix it with TVT. Um, it's a co-TVT, co-TVT. Co-TVT is co-TVT. 
Uh, if you have a race for whatever reason, you call it race. But that, that's kind of it. Like it's it's fairly straightforward. It's just to give an idea so that when you're scrolling down the mission list, you can easily tell what kind of mission you're looking at. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I guess um, for for a second I thought the Zeus prefix was just like for a Zeus mission. No. no. No, and it it would matter more if it wasn't called Zeus Template Malden. Like, let's say it was just called, I don't know, like, My First Mission. Um, If you didn't have that Zeus prefix on there, it would be really difficult to tell what that mission is supposed to be, like, what kind of mission it's supposed to be, because you wouldn't have any other explanation for it. So... Anyways, I'm out. Uh, again, Darius, thank you for your service. And to everyone else who's here, um, I you know I don't know if this has been stated before, but you know if you're ever trying anything like this afterwards and you have any questions, you know throw them out in Armadev. Um, you know people will try to answer them when possible. Also, but, an, annoying, uh, yeah. an annoying thing about um, going to the editor into loading missions, you can't load directly into an editor mission. So a lot of people don't realize that at first, and they I know I spent like 30 minutes when I first started making missions, just like, why can't I load into my mission? What is this? Yeah. And then I realized that was, uh, I was actually really dumb. Oh, wait, super. Uh, yep. Uh, well, uh, yeah, Darius, you're going to go through it with me so you can explain uh, something oh. very quick. I know, I, I, I guess I figured out. Uh, NATO respawn west, C set respawn east. What is in for, for their respawn? Uh, hold on. There's a page for this. What the hell? Did I just? I just did something stupid. Respawn I think. Gorilla. Okay. Hey, super. Yeah. I renamed the folder in my um, my my template folder. And now it's not showing up in my missions. Uh, did you rename it? Zeus 56 uh, Zeus template Malden old underscores. Okay, and it has dot Malden at the end. Yes. Okay, can you uh? Wait, screenshot? I think I, oh, I think I know put, why. I have the, put the version number after the uh. Yeah, after the yeah yeah well. Uh, actually, uh, hold on. Wait. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, when the when Arma three reads a mission folder, it basically uses a dot to separate the mission name from the map. Uh, which is why if you put like a dot in your version number and you had like you know version 1.0 hey, then then arma would just freak out if you try to load it and <clears throat> die very cool all right export it's export to multiplayer right yep okay it's the little things so mp missions here's the uh list of respawn templates or respawn Markers, by the way, uh, taken from this page. Oh, okay. Uh, right. No, I have to go through my fucking I'm the stupid fucking idiot. Anyways, I'm out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good buddy, you left your Thanks. channel. Oh, when whenever you export in multiplayer, it's gonna go to your MP missions file inside the Arma Three folder. So that's how that works. So I'm now going to take this and I'm going to upload it for auditing because that's what a good mission maker does. Uh, I can't remember the command sometimes. Op audit, there it is. Don't mind me. Cool. All right. That, that's that's it for making a Zeus template. That's all you have to do. It's really simple. It's four things. Um, 
I would suggest for your first ones, just make it straight vanilla just for the sake of doing it. Um, because vanilla, uh, it, it, it's going to end up being a Zeus or a arsenal mission most likely anyways. Um, and Zeus can put down arsenals really easily. So literally you, in this, this would not take long at all. You could literally copy all of this you could put it on a different map and you could make a template in 15 seconds all you have to do afterwards is just put the super xp template in there and then just drop the or then just name it correctly along with the uh everything else that that's it that's it's really simple it's something that helps the group a lot um, and after this, I would say it's, I'll, you guys can kind of decide amongst yourselves what maps you want to make, uh, missions on, but I wouldn't make them on the same map if, if at all possible. Uh, so right now the one I'm doing is on Takistan. Takistan, that's fine. All right. Do you guys know what uh, maps you want to use? I'm using Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast. Uh, there's already a template on Gulf Coast, but it's not a vanilla one, so you're free to make one. Um, uh, let me let me 